this video we will see the more function about the string okay i am taking as equal to hello world over here these are the function which is in the string with dir you can see that i already told you that now i am running the as it will give me the hello world i am taking as dot title which is already mentioned in the function of the string i am taking as dot title then it will give me the first word h and w in the capital letter these are the advantage of having a title okay so these are the functionality of title it will print the uh, each first word capital in capital letter okay if you use as dot capitalize then it will give you the first word of a string in the capital but not the second word now if you use hello how are you okay my first word is h this is h r and y dot capitalize then it will only convert your first word in the capital letter if you use a title then it will convert each word of your string okay the first the first letter right now s equal to hello world again if I am taking s dot upper, if you want your whole string in uppercase, you have to use upper function dot upper. So it will give you the hello world in the uppercase. If you want in the lower case, it is if it is in the already in the lower case, it will give you the lower case. If you want a lower case, you can use dot lower at that time. Now I'm taking someone's name. Let's take a jainam dot lower. Okay. If it is an uppercase, it will convert in the lower case. By using the lower function, I'm taking S1 equal to Niri, running the S1. Okay, it is a Niri. If I'm taking the swap case, okay, so after the first capital hoga was small ho jayega, again the small hoga wo capital ho jayega. That is called the swap case. If you want to use a swap case, you can use. In this way, your first word is capital, here it is a small. Now, I'm taking as equal to hello word and I'm taking this kind of space. Again, I'm running the as so it will give me the space. Now, if I'm using a strip, which I told you in the first video, but it is a function of a string. So it will delete your blank space. It will delete your blank space, but not in between your words. Okay, remember that not in between your words. After words and before the word, it will remove the blanks so this is the advantage of having the strip now i am taking a l strip so l strip matlab it will remove your left side of blank space again i am taking r strip and it will remove your right side of things i am taking s then this s star and the hello i am taking strip dot star sorry in uh, round braces, I am taking this star. Okay, so it will give me my output, it will remove this star. Okay, now I am taking O again and I am using the strip in between O, so it doesn't remove my O between the string. Always remember that it will always uh, remove before the string and after the string, it will always remove that. Now I am taking type and input, so it is taking me the str. Now I am taking one example. It is a simple example. I am taking ch as a variable and input. Okay, enter your choice here. So no. Okay, dot strip and dot lower. I am taking over here. If my choice equal to yes, then it will welcome me. Otherwise, it will just print me by hitting shift enter. Okay, I'm pressing yes in a small letter. Enter, welcome. Shift enter. I am press yes. Enter, welcome. Okay. Again, I'm taking shift enter. No, will print five. This is the small example of having dot shift and dot lower. 
again as to i am taking rishi modi and as again as how are you okay as do top split kar diya maine so by default it will split with the space so it will give you this okay by default it will split with the space using the split you can do it okay by default it will generate the list like this using the split again as kiya aur run kiya as mein okay ori mujhe mujhe remove karna hai i can use the split again okay you can use the strip to remove the o again i am taking hello world how are you again i want to remove o in between my string you have i have to use a split over that okay if you want to remove o inside of your string you have to use a split if you want to remove o outside of your string before the string and after the string you have to use a strip okay you have to use strip at that time but i want to remove o inside of my string that i have to at that time i have to use a split and it will remove the o from the hello it will remove the uh, o from the world it will remove the uh, o from the how and you okay and will deliver the list like this okay again i am taking l equal to s dot split o that will be uh, split my o and again i am taking capital o dot join join means wahan se join kare wahan se aapne split ko uh, o ko split kiya it will join that. join l over that okay so my string will be looking like this hello world how are you yahan se aapko small o aapne remove kiya hai split kiya hai wahan आपने ऐड किया कैपिटल लोको राइट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू एड डॉट ज्वाइन एंड फन बट विद द स्पेस दैट टाइम यू हैव टू यूज स्पेस डॉट ज्वाइन एंड फन राइट अगेन आई एम रनिंग दी एस माई एस इज हेलो वर्ल्ड हाउ आई इफ आई वॉन्ट टू नो दिंटेक्स ऑफ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड राइट ऑफ पर्टिकुलर अल्फाबेट एट दैट टाइम आई हैव टू यूज एस डॉट इंडेक्स देन आर ओके So what is the syntax of R? It is eight, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. First R, right? If I want to know the index of L as dot index, it will give me the two, zero, one, and two. First R, right? If you want to know the index, you have to use the index function like this. Okay. Now. I am taking Kevin as a name, and my first word is capital. And I am taking the function of is lower, is lower. Then it will give me the false because my first word is capital. If you want to know uh, the given string is upper or is lower, you have to use is lower and is upper. Again, I am taking k small, then it will true. And running this program, it will true, right? I am taking hello world. Is upper and mention is upper, so it is false. If I'm just mention capital H over there and I'm taking is upper, then it will also false. Is upper, what is the meaning of is upper? That whole string is in upper case. So I'm here. I'm taking someone's name, Nate, and is upper. I am taking that, so it will true. Okay. Dharmic dot is alpha. If you want to know the string is in the alphabetic form or not. So again, it is a true. Okay, hello world dot is alpha again. It is a false, right? Okay, here I am taking hello dot is l num. So it will contain the alpha and alphabets and number. So it is true again. Again, I am taking the alphabet. It will always use for the alphabet and number. Okay, is l num. It is true. I am taking this string. It is a true. Again, I am taking the function. Okay, there are various functions. Okay. Now, I am taking as hello world, how are you? Okay. Now, replace function. Okay. Then, what is the use of replace function? As dot replace, I want to replace my space with the star. So, this space will be replaced by your star. Okay. So, your output will be within your space. 
I'm taking as dot l just 60. Now, hello world, how are you? Then left side say space was I guess. So it will just contain the space with the 60. Again, I am taking r just dot 60. So right side say space. Has I'm taking s dot center. So it will give this space in between your string, right? And will print your string in the center. Now, I want s dot center 60 and star. So it will replace your space with the star. You can mention anything. Now I am taking s dot r just 60 and star. So it will just print the star at right side. Okay. If I am taking a center of s, then it will taking s. Okay. Here I am taking the star. Here I am taking the s. If you want to know that what is my first word of the string? At that time, you have to use a start with, okay, hello, dot start with h. I mean, h mentioned here. So, it, yes, it is true by, because it is start with the h, right? Hello, dot start with m. So, it is a fault because it doesn't start with the m. Now, again, I am taking hello dot start with h e l. It is Start with H E L three words, right? It is true because it is start with the H E L. Right? In this video, we see the different functionalities having the string. Okay. So in the next video, we will see the slicing. It is a part of a string. Okay. Just do your work and always be a learner. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.